Last month, I did a small solar setup using an Okmo 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery, and the battery did great. So this time, I want to take their 200 amp hour, still 12 volt, still lithium iron phosphate, and I want to test it to see how well it does. And I'm very impressed with this company, so I think it's going to do well, but let's test it. So one thing I'm going to skip is all the boring stuff. I'm not going to do a low C capacity test. I'm not going to do a teardown. And the reason is, is this battery is solid. And most batteries nowadays have good builds and they easily beat capacity. So there's no point. That's just a waste of time. What is important to most people is how well does it perform? How well will it do in a real life scenario? So what we're going to focus on here is we're going to focus on can it output 100 amps? Can it output continuously? Can it do inductive loads? Can it run space heaters? Can it run power tools? And in addition to how well does it perform, how well is it protected? Will the internal BMS shut down if there's too big of a load? So those are the things we're gonna focus on. Real quick, I wanna go over the battery parameters. It does come with this manual. It did come nicely packed, of course, as you would expect. But let's quickly go through this and then we'll jump into some testing. Again, it is 12 volt, 200 amp hour. Again, it is lithium iron phosphate. It has a five year warranty. That's really, really good. Uh, life cycle is up to 15,000 cycles, which again is very impressive. It does have a 100 amp BMS. It does have a M8 bolts. Um, I'll put the um, weight and the dimensions underneath. Um, it does have low temperature protection. Again, that's really, really critical. It will shut down if it's too cold, because as most people know by now, lithium iron phosphate cannot be charged when it's freezing out. So it protects it, that low temperature protection is there. Remember, we're gonna be talking about off-grid solar in this video, but this battery does more. See, that's what we're gonna be talking about. But it does, you can use it on a boat, you can use it on a rig. So there's a lot of the things that this battery will do that I'm not gonna be talking about. All right, that is kind of the overview. I'm gonna charge it up. When it's charged up, we're gonna jump in, we're gonna do some tests. We're gonna hit it hard, we're gonna see how well it performs, and just as important, we're gonna see how well it is protected. So let's have So the battery is now fully charged and it passed its first test. As you can see, the BMS shut down the charging because it is full, so that's good. That's what we wanna see. So now I'm gonna unplug it from the charger. Now for some fun. Let's do some testing. Let me tell you quickly about our setup here. I have a Pretty good size inverter and a kilowatt meter. Extension cords hooked up to that, so we'll be able to see how much juice is coming through it at all times. And uh, I'm gonna hit this thing hard. I have power tools, I have inductive load, I have a heat gun, I have air compressor, shop back. And then when we're done with all of that, I have a space heater that I'm gonna put on high to give it a really hard, heavy load and see how long it lasts, and also we do a basic capacity test to see how long it can handle that. So let's jump into this. I'm gonna turn it on, be able to watch the juice come through there. And uh, I'm gonna start it off hard. I'm gonna start it off with uh, this heat gun. So this is just a standard heat gun. It'll be a very nice heavy load though. Let's see how it does. Handle 700, no problem. Let's see if I can do it on high. And right there, you can see it's pushing a lot of current. No problem. All right, now let's see how well it does with an inductive load. So I'm gonna have the heat gun on low and we'll see if it can start this small motor. And yeah, we got a decent load. We got about 700 coming through there. Handled it pretty good. All right, not bad. So now let's try a grinder, the heat gun, and an inductive load. So I'm going to turn the heat gun on low. Now it's going to get loud because this grinder is right here, so you might not hear me, but you can see what's going on.
All right, it easily handled all that. So now I'm gonna see if, if I can push it. I'm gonna put do that same thing, but I'm gonna put the heat gun on high, see if it shuts down. So it handled all that, was pushing well over 1600 watts. So now I have a heat gun, the inductive load on the small motor, and a good size shop vac. Let's see what it does. Okay, I think I'm hitting the limitations of my inverter. So far the battery has not given me any overcurrent shutdown. So that's about all we can do with all of this, but the battery was able to put out a fair amount of current. So for the final test, I'm gonna hook it up to my space heater. That'll give us kind of a long-term capacity test. And uh, this one's gonna take a while, so I'm just gonna put the camera on time-lapse and we can just watch it go. So now for the recap. And I never know what's gonna happen on these videos. So I set my camera to time lapse so I could film the space heater part because it was gonna be a few hours. And about a half an hour into it, the battery on my camera actually dies. So I only get a few minutes of footage. So that was a little bit of a disappointment. But what was not a disappointment was this battery. It performed flawlessly. It did that test, it hit capacity. Uh, it did all my heavy load tests. It did everything. The BMS protected the charging. When it got to 14.6, it shut it down. So the only concern I had was when I was doing my load test, the overcurrent protection didn't kick in. So, so I actually reached out to the company for clarification on this. Turns out that they have a custom built BMS that actually has two layers of protection, current and also temperature. So this will allow up to 400 amps of current before it shuts down. So this is the reason why we were able to run such heavy loads on the battery. So it's a really cool feature. And if that isn't enough, right now, on Amazon, they are running incredible deals. So you gotta go check them out on Amazon. And while you're checking them out, check out their Facebook fan page. They have all sorts of activities going on in there. So it's a very lively company with a really cool community around it. Their technical support is excellent. Their warranty is excellent. It output incredibly, very impressed. So it's a, it's a fine battery. I would definitely recommend you go out and get a couple of these batteries for your solar setup, for your rig, uh, for your boat, for whatever your needs are. If anyone's used this battery or has any questions on anything you saw today, please leave a comment below. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I will talk to everyone soon.